The Central Bank of Nigeria began its intervention in February 2017 after the Naira had lost more than 150% of its value when compared with the American greenback, the British pound and the European euro. The Naira also did not fare better when valued against other international currencies. Much of the loss in value was blamed on the poor state of the Nigerian economy arising from the sharp drop in oil revenue accounting for over 80% of the nation's gross domestic income. This caused inflation to rise affecting the cost of goods and services. Many Nigerians could not afford to buy much with the disposable income in their hands. Life indeed became very hard for many. To date, the Central Bank of Nigeria CBN has injected nearly $5 billion into the interbank forex market. This has helped to stabilize the value of the Naira at between 365 and 370 Naira to the American dollar. MCO News spoke with some financial experts on the essence of the CBN's interventions from February 2017. The central bank is uh, by definition a bank of last resort. When things go bad, it, it has to come in to control, coordinate and regulate. The militancy in the oil producing areas have been, up, have been uh, disrupting the smooth flow of oil and the smooth marketing of oil. So if these things don't happen, or if, they are, if these things don't happen, we can, we can have money. And that is part of you know, why we are suffering. So they could not intervene here because uh, they, they, they didn't have the wherewithal. The, res the resources were not available to meet this demand. But now that the militancy has been controlled, operation in the oil region is taking place, and also the fuel, uh, the, the, the oil price is gaining, is gaining. The intervention by the Central Bank of Nigeria, though helpful in stabilizing the Naira, has been pointed out as a short-term measure which may not be sustained for too long. Arguments are in favor for the diversification of the economy as a more sustainable measure to strengthen the Naira in the long run and increase the nation's gross domestic income. If Nigeria is looking at the economy holistically, then our solution does not lie in temporary measures. We have talked about diversifying the economy and um, when you talk about diversifying the economy and you are not taking proactive measures to ensure that the economy is actually diversified then you will rely you will fall back on temporary measures if there are things for example that are being done proactively to ensure that our economy is resuscitated uh, then you can say that what we have, we are deploying it in a direction that will further generate hard currency for us. The problem of the thing, yes, is good. It will make a way to try and see if it could uh, uh, sustain the edition. But the fact on the long run, will some people not go and take away the dollars and keep it their view the change they will be using to sell at higher, higher prices? Reduce the rate of inflation if possible by investing in Nigerian made goods, patronizing Nigeria and stop depending solely on oil. We support the government to diversify so that agriculture let us produce, uh, eat what we produce. The negative effect of the instability in the international oil market on the Nigerian currency indicates a certain vulnerability of the nation. This implies that the nation has depended on oil for far too long as its major source of revenue. The government has indicated its willingness to diversify from oil to other sources for revenue generation and much of the Apex Bank's intervention is expected to go in that direction. Emeka Chibu, MCR News.